This is a video tutorial of Lightning Pizza. This design is being brought to you by Machinegers Quilting Gloves, available at the Day Style Designs Quilt Shop. Support this free motion quilting project and get the best grip on your quilts so they're easy to free motion quilt on your home sewing machine. Check them out at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Lightning Pizza. This design is stitched by first coming up with a set of jagged lines. So you're just going to kind of zigzag around your quilt almost like a lightning bolt. Then you're going to create a triangle shape on the end of that lightning bolt. Go inside of that triangle and fill it with pebbling. Pebbling is just small circles tightly stacked together and completely filling the quilting space. I know it's a little tricky to see right here simply because this is so tiny, but if you expand it, it will be a lot easier to see. Once you fill your pizza shape, and it's really what it is, it's a triangle at the end of your lightning bolt is your lightning pizza. Once you fill that with circles, you're going to simply echo stitch uh, from the tip of the, light, the triangle all the way back down. What you're doing is you're stitching basically lightning bolt um, with straight lines and sharp angles and stitching a triangle shape on the end of it then filling that triangle shape with circles. It's really very simple but it does require a set of specific steps so just take your time and really have some fun with this design. It's, it creates a very interesting texture because you're mixing the kind of um, very heavy stitch pattern of pebbling inside that triangle with some very simple straight lines and sharp angles. And that combination creates a very, very neat texture on the surface of your quilt. This will likely work best in the more open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt. You can see how I'm kind of wiggling in this kind of weird area. And as much as you can, try not to try and fit this into very tiny or complex areas, like the areas around a very uh, intricate Baltimore album applique would be a bad choice for this design. Instead, try more maybe the sashing borders or an open block for this design. That would be a better choice. Here you can see I'm creating another kind of just straight line shape and then a triangle on the end of it, filling that triangle with some pebbling, just trying to keep it as consistently as possible as I can with the first set. Now I fast forward it a bit and you can see how this looks after it's covered a good section of the quilt and how the texture looks with the combination of the pizza shapes uh, being surrounded by those lines of echo quilting. Really overall this is a variation of uh, Poseidon's Eye and Heart Flow, only instead of flowing lines you're stitching straight lines and sharp angles. So it's going to work similarly to all of those branching designs. If you can stitch either of those other two designs, you can likely stitch this too. And it's really interesting how some quilters will prefer straight line designs over curvy line designs. So it just depends on what you're good at. Now you can see here I'm just kind of stitching in some straight lines, just trying to keep this as consistently as possible. Sometimes it's tricky whenever the area gets very dense and tight and complex. Uh, this is why this design is going to work best in a more open area of your quilt. But the best thing that you can do is just simply try and stitch some straight lines back and forth, filling that area, keeping it consistent. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Lightning Pizza. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting, including Poseidon's Eye and Heart Flow, two designs I mentioned in this video, check out daystyledesigns.com or freemotionquilt.com.